Hello again, this is Robert Veach. This is my video view of the Wimprima brand soldering iron kit. It comes in this nice plastic holder that locks so that you could bring it somewhere so it's totally portable and has foam protection on there and foam to keep everything in place over here. It has a little instruction sheet with the specs about this product. So we're gonna go over everything that's in here. This is a 60 watt unit, 110 volts, 115 volts. And it's a kit, has an adjustable tip temperature from 428 degrees Fahrenheit to about 896 or 220 to 480 degrees Celsius. And it comes with a uh, aluminum soldering stand, brass tip cleaner, we're gonna go over all this. And all these different heads, and some of them you could uh, do nice patterns in wood, other ones you could use for that plus soldering, uh, depending on what you want to do. And this is a superior professional soldering iron, has four multiple tip replacements, heat and impact resistant design of screw thread, so the iron head is not easy to drop. Adjustable temperature from that range I talked about heats up fast and it works great. Also includes a soldering suction device for removing uh, heated solder out of connections. I'll show you how that's used. It's all rugged metal construction. Uh, the, the soldering pump is high pressure vacuum tube with aluminum body frame. Now this is typically used for soldering circuit boards, appliance repairs, soldering wires, home do-it-yourself hobbyists. So I've got everything out of that storage container on my table. You have this nice tip cleaner, and these work really well. They've got like a brass shaving in them. And if you want to use water on a sponge, it includes that with a nice little holder so that you could hold the soldering iron up like that. And you have all these tips and all these tips here. Now you notice these are different than these. These screw on to the end of this soldering iron. These we're gonna unscrew and put in. We're gonna show how to do that. So some of these are for burning wood and doing artwork, and we're gonna demonstrate that. This is the all aluminum vacuum system, and this, these things are so handy. You just push in like that, and it causes a vacuum. I mean, if I block that, you can see what happens. So it's basically sucking on my finger, and then when I release it, you can see. This is gonna take all that heated old solder on some of your connections so that you can remove components out of a circuit board or clean off uh, connections on wire. Here's a little roll of solder which has a nice little dispensing hole so that you can just use it when you, you, as, you as you go. And here is a nice tweezer, very precision, that allows you to grab your components that you're removing. Now the soldering iron itself has a nice five foot long, very flexible cord on the end with a US standard plug, 115 volts on there. Very nice feel to it. It has a siliconized end right here. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow you to have a nice grip and it's gonna prevent the heat from coming to your fingers. Now it's also unique. There's a little display right there for power. There is an on off switch on here. I really like that so that you could not worry about unplugging it all the time. And then you have a little temperature control that is calibrated in the centigrade. And you can turn it counterclockwise to get to the low and clockwise to get to the higher temperatures. Now, first thing I wanna just try, I'm gonna put one of these tips in here uh, that has a little angle piece on there. Just gonna screw that in right there like that. And you see it's got a profile, 30 degrees or so. And we're gonna plug this unit in and we're gonna uh, see if this heats up. Now let's turn the power switch on. And there you get the little LED that's lit. It looks pretty neat. And we're gonna put this clockwise to the higher temperature. And we're gonna let that heat up. And if I look at a watt meter right here, Let's take a look at the wattage of this. So it shows me 
31 watts. So that's the wattage that is pulling, converting that in to heat on the tip. So after about three minutes, this thing heated up nicely. And this particular tip can be used for forming patterns in wood. So if you're an artist and you draw something, you can use this tip to make artwork. And what's really nice is that you don't need any paint and the pattern that it forms is burnt into the wood. So all you do is put a little stain on there if you want and you just put a little urethane water-based or regular urethane and then you get this cool looking pattern on their artwork. And here I'm just making a flame, something simple. And it works pretty fast as you can see. This is pretty hard wood too. And of course you could make this Instead of a flame, you can make this a leaf. Now the length of time you spend on the wood is going to be how deep and how dark the pattern is going to be. So keep that in mind. But if you're an artist, you know all these things. So if you were to just hold this in place, you can see the smoke, I think. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's starting to char the wood pretty good. And now you have a really large charred area that's relatively deep. So you get the idea. You could do a lot of artistic things with this. So these are the other tips for burning the wood patterns. And I still have the other one in the uh, soldering gun, but you can see there's a very similar one right there. This one is longer with a, uh, just a, a standard end. This has got a beveled 30 degree end and this one has a point. And then you have these brass looking ones. This one has got a cone shape. This is a beveled angle and another beveled angle with a slightly wider, maybe 15 degree angle on there. So you have your choice of what patterns you want to induce and create in the wood while you're burning wood, which is nice. So here's a close up of the tips that to be used for soldering and you can see some of these are really nice and small some are a little bigger and this one's the biggest right there so depending on what you're doing you're going to be able to select the proper tip now for most electronics work that i do i'm going to be using this type of tip because it allows you to be really accurate and to really hone in on electronic components this is very nice included tweezer also this could also be used for electronics and this one too. And these two right here and this third one would primarily be used for soldering wire. So to install all those nice electronic soldering tips, we no longer have the screwed in wood burning tip. So you unscrew this end piece right here. Still a little warm from the last uh, test and you remove that now this is the ceramic heating core that heats up this whole chamber right here so inside here is that core that heats up it's still a little hot and that's where you were putting i was putting those um wood burning tips now this tip right here is going to be inserted right through the back right here and then see what happens it pops out perfectly right there nice beautiful soldering tip and then what we're going to do we're going to place that heating core the ceramic core right inside like that now we're going to turn this clockwise and I'm just going to hand tighten it. There is some flat areas on here if you want to use a small wrench. But you don't want to over tighten it because 
it's just going to conduct the heat fine hand tightening just like that. So that's it. Now I have access to this nice soldering tip and we can turn this on and solder some electronics. So here I have it heated up with that nice tip on there and I have this little included sponge. You can keep it clean and I have the solder here and I'm going to use that to keep the tip clean. And here's a, just a simple connection. And you want to start off by adding a little solder. And then you just heat the connection up like that. And you get a nice, beautiful solder connection. I want to demonstrate the suction device. I'm going to uh, push this in and get it all loaded and ready. Now I've got a connection right here. I'm trying to remove one of these relays. And what happens is it just removed that whole section of solder right there. And as you go along and do that, then you're able to remove components on a circuit board. Extremely handy to use that tool. And here's where the beauty of that smaller tool comes into play, because you have some small circuit boards that have really tiny connections on there. And you could really hone in on those smaller connections with this smaller tip. And uh, you wouldn't be able to do that if that tip was a large tip and that allows you to hone in and get really close to those smaller connections and solder them up. So what's my overall opinion about the Wimprima brand, their soldering iron kit? This is really nice kit. As I demonstrated, you could use this for electronics, wood patterns, uh, jewelry, and it's got everything you're gonna need right in here. Great set. I really like this product. I'm gonna give it a five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I present helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.